your family and friends. We welcome you to the unity ceremony and celebration of Chelsea and John. It has been said that marriage is falling in love over and over again with the same person. How Chelsea and John will accomplish this is up to them. For every marriage is as unique as the people as it joins. Marriage is a promise that says, you will always come first in my life. A wedding is a wonderful occasion filled with hopes, dreams, and excitement. We have come here to celebrate and support Chelsea and John in celebrating that gift. Love is a miraculous gift. And a wedding is a celebration of that magic. Marriage is a place of freedom, freedom to fully express who you are, knowing that you have someone there to catch you when you fall. It's also a place of encouragement, and the place you will always find applauds your successes. When life is peaceful and when life is painful, may you continuously be reminded of the beauty and deepest intentions of the vows you make here today. And now Chelsea will recite the vows she has written for John. John, my honey, my handsome, my love. From the first day we sat in the library, talking for hours instead of studying for the class we were already retaking, to the day you invited me to a Cubs game after one of the darkest times in my life, I knew you were there to brighten up my days. <laughs> I knew you were the one when every part of my being felt that we were meant to be together. You've made me smile for the last two years, five months, and five days, and I look forward to spending the rest of our lives together. I know that marriage and parenting will not be as easy as our relationship has been so far, but as long as we are standing side by side, I know that we can get through anything. As we become one through marriage, I promise to love you, respect you, and devote myself to our partnership until the end of time. I promise to support you in any endeavor. I promise to try to lift you up when you are down. I promise to be faithful I promise to grow with you. I promise to love you unconditionally. And now John will recite the vows he has written for Chelsea. Hers are much better than mine. <laughs> Chelsea, I love you. It's easy to say because we say it every day but I want you to hear it now. I love you. But I know I can't love you as much as, I can't love you today as much as I will in 10 years, or in 50 years, or in 100 years. I know our life together is just beginning, and our love will grow and deepen as we grow our family and our life together. I hear it won't be easy, but nothing in life is worth having if it happens without effort. So I promise to work hard every day to make that day better than the last. I will give you, I, give, I will give everything to you, our marriage, and our family. I promise to have a short-term memory for the tough times and a long-term memory for the good ones. This is all about us now. Our marriage depends on hard work, dedication, and devotion. And you have everything. I love you. I kiss you so bad. That was really good. <laughs> and now for the exchange of the rings, beginning with Chelsea. Chelsea, while placing the ring on John's finger, please repeat after me. I, Chelsea. I, Chelsea, take you, John, to be my husband. Take you, John, to be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. And I promise my love. And I promise my love. To you forevermore. To you forevermore. John, while placing the ring on Chelsea's finger, please repeat after me. Ready? Yes. I, John, take you, Chelsea, to be my wife. I, John, take you, Chelsea, to be my wife. To have and to hold. 
to heaven to hold. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. And I promise my love to you. And I promise my love to you. Forevermore. Forevermore. <laughs> Chelsea and John, you have come here today of your own free will and have declared your love and commitment to each other. You have given and received a ring as a symbol of your promises. By the power of your love and commitment to each other, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. We're married.